Hey guys, it's Kim with 5 Minute Cloth, and today is day 4 of the Flats and Hand Washing Challenge, and I will be sharing with you how I'm washing, hand washing my flats this year. So since my daughter is only using one diaper a day, um, my method looks a lot different than in the past. I am just using a simple bucket and my hands. So first we start with the cold water rinse. You don't need a lot of water because you want the um, fabric to agitate against each other, but you need enough um, that it gets clean clearly. Um, and you wanna make sure any of your flats um, that are completely unfolded so that they can get really clean. If they're still in their fold, um, some of the layers might not get clean. So I just do 50 um, squeezes and pushes in the water, I guess, um, kind of imitating what a plunger would do, but just with my hands. And I do use two hands typically, but I'm holding the camera. Um, so you can push it down with your knuckles and grab it, um, whatever just kind of feels right to get the fabric clean. And then I just dump out the water and start with the hot water wash. So I have it on as hot as I can go. And I am just using a bar of Castile soap. Um, for hand washing, it works just fine. And um, it actually rinses out a lot better than traditional detergents like Tide. So I now am plunging with my hands um, and agitating for about 50 times, similar to what I did with the bucket and plunger. And then I let it sit for, you know, half hour up to several hours, depending on when you remember to get back to it, and then agitate it 50 more times. And then dump out the soapy water. And you can see it's a milky white, which is actually really helpful for when you're rinsing to know if they have uh, rinsed out totally. So what I'm doing is I'm just hanging my flats over the shower bar and using my shower head to um, rinse them. And I'm going to do that to all of the items in my bucket. Put them back in the bucket with cold water and just do one last agitation. I want to just check to make sure if the water is milky or if it is um, clear. So if it's clear, that means I have rinsed it out enough and it's time to wring everything out. For me, I find when you're wringing the fewest number of layers is easier on your hands. It might take a couple more times through, but it is a lot easier on your hands. And then when you're doing covers, uh, you don't really want to wring. You can squeeze them and um, or you can roll them in a towel and then kind of walk on top of the towel. That really helps to get a lot of the moisture out so that they dry quicker. And now I'm just emptying any of the extra water out of the bucket and I'm going to go bring them to hang them outside. I just used a simple metal drying rack that I already had, but you can really hang them anywhere to dry. Um, so that is my simple hand washing routine and it is so, so easy. I really see this as um, a possible long-term solution for somebody who is just trying to wash one or two diapers a day because it's really hard to clean that few of diapers in a washing machine. All right, thanks guys, bye.